Next up, we've got Erica Lindstrom. She is the board president for the Allen Day Community Garden, and she's going to talk to us about belonging. Thanks, Seal. Community gardens embody a direct response to the call for climate justice. In addition to the clear need to move beyond a fossil fueled food system, the community connections they offer are equally valuable. At Allen Day Community Garden in Norway, Maine, we are taking local action to affect global change. And I'd like to start us off by sharing my story with you, which I have entitled One Mile and a Hot Pot of Soup. On September 10th, 2017, I was invited to the Community Garden's annual harvest party. I walked from my home in Norway with a heavy hot pot of soup because that seemed like the choice someone going to the community garden would make. Before I had stepped foot in the garden, I was already thinking differently about my actions, all because of that single invitation. While I would like to say that my passion for food justice and climate justice was always there, the belonging came first. The value and connection I felt from being part of this community helped me to take action. I was not a gardener and had a superficial understanding of terms like food access and food justice. I have so much room to grow still, but my own experiences have helped me understand how belonging might be the first step for many people to take action. The garden has a similar story, which started with a community invitation. Alan Day's family wanted to honor him and heal from his loss by investing back into the community. They invited the community to envision the best use of the land with growing concern about the effects of climate change, loss of community gathering space, and a failing community food system, the plan for a community garden was seeded. Hundreds of people participated in co-creating the mission, breaking ground to make garden beds, growing food, and building community. The community garden gives us the opportunity to reduce our carbon footprint, improve the land, and come together to learn about and support a regenerative food system. In social environments where people feel valued and cared about, they are more likely to engage in positive activity for themselves as well as their community and environment. For over a decade, the community garden has been working to decrease the root causes of poor health, such as isolation, disconnection, and not feeling valued. Members of socially connected communities are more likely to thrive. Research shows that individuals who feel a sense of security, belonging, and trust in their community have better health and are more likely to promote well-being for all. Working together to promote health for all is the approach we need to address climate change. Addressing root causes of hunger and poverty is imperative in our approach toward climate justice. We focus on empowerment and community resilience moving the conversation beyond charity models that tend to perpetuate systemic inequities. We take a youth-centered approach by training future food system leaders and environmental advocates, creating safe spaces for youth to have challenging conversations, and offering skills and resources that empower direct collaborative action. Capitalism, on the other hand, encourages individualism, isolation and non-cooperation because more individual consumers means more profit. Despite claiming an e equal opportunity for all, capitalism increases socioeconomic inequities. Community gardens have the opposite effect, providing shared land access, tools and resources, and most importantly, connecting people. Community garden plots provide one solution to the obstacle of equitable land access, which is also tied to systemic racism in the US food system. Community plots help level the field and promote common ground for accessing local food. Our community farmer's market offers a welcoming space where a diverse group of community members can make personal connections in ways that our digital hangouts simply cannot replicate. Tangible relationships to people, environment, and food are crucial to sustain a healthy community and environment. The foundations of our youth leadership program are land stewardship, regenerative growing practices, and building community resilience. A safe and inclusive environment is essential for personal growth, gaining confidence, and learning how to take real leadership for the future of our planet. 
Our Solidarity Gardens program builds home gardens around the community, removing barriers such as transportation and access to tools. Climate justice means working together to find solutions that work for everyone while protecting the environment. We host a variety of cooking programs for all ages to promote lifelong skills and long-term positive health outcomes. Developing cooking skills helps to lower barriers to local food access. Eating local is not just a nutritional benefit, it's good for economy and our transition toward fossil fuel independence. At the community garden, we continue to develop climate-friendly models. We have plans to expand our solar array and build a year-round solar-powered kitchen classroom greenhouse. Season extension and food preservation are two major ways to increase local food access throughout the year and to decrease the giant carbon footprint of global food transportation. The original founders of the garden envisioned a time when the organization could be an umbrella for many community gardens throughout towns in the area. Allen Day Community Garden serves as an educational demonstration garden and for those who are looking to start a garden, please let us know, we can help. When the work feels hard, I remind myself that one small connection to the community can lead to action. For me, it only took a single invitation to fire up my passion for community gardens and to feel empowered to step into leadership roles, both with the garden and within my community. From growing community resilience to growing our local food system, community gardens are a sign of revitalization, empowerment, and resistance to a global food system that accelerates climate change and inequity. I invite you to join us at the Allen Day Community Garden where everyone has something valuable to contribute. Thank you.